All right, gang, welcome back. So in this video, I'm gonna quickly show you how I go about swapping out these shower faucet handles here after the uh, screw rust out really bad. So as you can see, you know, that screw is pretty well rusted out. This one, I already, I already did, I already swapped this one here. The screw is pretty badly rusted out as well. Um, I tried mainly taking it out with my Knipex um, Cobras, but it just, the screw was so badly rusted, it just broke inside of the shaft. So we're probably gonna have the same issue here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to cut this one off and I'll show you how I did this one. If I can get the screw out of this one, I'll just show you how I did this one uh, separately. So what I'm going to do first of all is cut this thing out using my multi-tool. The reason I'm using the multi-tool is because the screw I tried getting out already is just so badly rusted. So I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, How do you say that? Okay. There we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to take the easy route out now and see if I can get this rusted screw out. As you can see, it's pretty badly rusted. So I'm gonna try to grab it with my um, Cobras. While I back, use a backing wrench to hold onto this here uh, stud. Actually, let me use these on this. coming out. Nice. Okay, cool. So I'm not even going to have to do my mod on this one. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how it's done. Like I said, with this, this one here, the screw broke off inside of this stem. So it basically, I had to come up with an idea to um, get this universal handle to work on and I'm going to show you what I did here. So yeah, as you can see, this is the universal kit that I got from Home Depot, Ten, about 10 bucks. You know, you can see it comes with everything you're going to need to mount it, except for the bolt that I had to add to it. All right, basically you can see the... Um, Handle kit comes with just this piece here. I just clasp around this, this stud here. And then you've got this piece that goes around this. And this screw here goes down the center and it basically interfaces with this here. But what are you gonna do for some reason, they didn't take into account this being a universal handle kit. They didn't take into account, well, what if my thread, what if either this gets stripped or, you know, the, str the screw gets sheared off inside of here. So what I did on this side here, I went ahead and, oh my, fix this. Let me see if I can. My Allen key here. Loosen that up so you fix this under here. All right. Check this out. How simple this is. All right. Then you grab you some some uh, some of these coarse uh, threaded nuts here. I guess that's the number ten through twenty four size. All right. So it's this here. You know, just go ahead and put that. Loosen it up. 
this will fit right in here. See there? So that fits right in there perfectly with just enough play to where I tighten this down, it tightens both of them perfectly. So now you want to make sure you get it nice and true and straight, right? Kind of get it out there a little bit as well. So there it is, perfect. Slide it in. Might be in the way here. Tighten that sucker down. And you want to tighten it snug because, uh, let's see here. Let's do a couple nice snug revolutions. And if you need to hold it with a, you know, player pliers or something just to make sure you don't put too much turn. Just make sure you're not putting too much twist on this actual stem here. Yeah, okay, so she's not, she's going, she's ratcheting down real good. Oh crap. Okay. All right. That's on there, solid, okay? All right, so now all I need to do, line this handle up. See those little notches in here on each side? They line up with these here notches. Oh wait, sorry. First get your adapter, extension adapter. That lines up. Perfect. You can see that's going to thread in very nicely. Nice and snug. And voila. That's how you um change your shower head, your know, shower um handles if they if the screws shear off inside of the stem or you know it gets stripped out or something. So yeah, you would think they would have thought that through. Something as simple as just putting an extra bolt in the package to make it fully universal, but it is what it is. And these aren't going anywhere. You know, I'm not going to sit there and stress test it, but they're tight. So just a quick one. I know um, I haven't been doing much HVAC stuff, but I've been working a little bit on these uh, properties here. So uh, thought I'd change it up a little bit. Let me know if you like this style of video. I might do more of this type of stuff. You know, uh, light plumbing type stuff, light carpentry. A little bit of stuff like that. So, all right, let me know what you think, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.